Good morning and welcome to a day of the life with Janine, the dog groomer, mobile dog groomer. Hello, are you coming to work with us? Come on, Hammy. Well, that's typical, so I'll come back for him. Stevie's with me. Come on, Hammy. Let's go to work, Hammy. Come on, Hammy. Stevie, we're going the other way. Come on, honey. All right, let's see if we can get everybody to the van together. Come on, Stevie. Stevie, Hammer. <laughs> this is typically how it goes. Good boy, Hammy. All right, Hammy made it. Stevie, where are you, honey? There you are. All right, so get those two in the van. Typically, I'd have some towels and stuff that I'd be throwing in right now. Sorry, this is literally how my day goes. It's like hectic from the moment I wake up. I think having four dogs is crazy, and I didn't mean to end up with that many. Okay, so next thing we're gonna do is right here, there's a drain plug and I'm gonna close that because right now it's open. So if I went to a client's house, my dirty water would dump out in their driveway. So close that up. And then this cord right here, this is how I plug my van in for the night to keep my uh, tank warmer on so that my tanks don't freeze. Uh, it keeps my water warm during the winter. So take that out and then we're gonna get in. I'm going to start my van and I'll be back to show you how I started up back here. But if I just start it like right now, the Bluetooth will connect to the camera and it'll mess everything up and you won't be able to hear me. So we're just going to start the van. It's push start, super easy. And uh, then I'll show you how to do this. All right. So everything is off back here right now. So what I'm going to do, I start by pressing this button and then I turn this top switch and then we're going to go ahead and turn the heater and the heat boost for the water on as well because it's about like 20, 30 degrees right now. And then I always have my backpack. I throw my snacks and everything in there. You got Hammy. He's got an ear infection going on right now, so he's extra dirty. Oh, and I just realized Becca brought his bed in to be clean, so he's gonna be very confused today. Typically his bed's right there and that's where he lays. If it's not there, then he gets very confused, but yeah. He's got an ear infection going on, so he's extra greasy right now. Uh, so <laughs> he'll look better come Friday. All right, so by this point, I would have all my towels put up. Um, my assistant worked yesterday and cleaned the van, so she actually already had the towels uh, put away for me. But typically, <clears throat> I would come out, put the towels away, make sure everything on the vet in the back is laid down and nothing's gonna fall while I'm driving. And now I'm gonna take off to my gas station because I need my snacks and my drinks for the day. So that is the next most important thing that I do. <laughs> all right, snacks have been bought, and by snacks, I mean Red Bull naturally got to get our morning juice flowing so uh my first client is like five minutes down the road so nice easy driving today i think the furthest one for me today is like 20 minutes so uh yeah we'll drive over there and then i'll check back in when i have them all right first bath we're shampooing i uh i'm still testing some dogliness stuff just just you know i don't know why at this point i, I was just gonna save it for hammer but I decided to uh, keep using it on some like poodles and doodles because I know that's a lot of people they really like it on poodles and doodles. So she's like a toy poodle or mini miniature toy. The, the miniatures are a little bigger. I'm no expert here. I just screwed them. I don't know what the hell they are. But uh, anyway, I put some dogliness in the bathing system. And the nice thing about dogliness is you can use it all over. Um, so I, I will I'll use it on their face and everything. I've gotten some in my eyes. I can confirm it does not burn. Um, and the creators of it, I know they tested it and put it in their eyes too. She's one of those dogs that she just like shakes a lot. You know how some of them do? Stevie's one of them that she just constantly shakes the water off or whatever. So I guess if I can get a little closer around your elbows. So anyway, 99% of the dogs that come in will 
go straight into my tub. But uh, today, my last two I will pre-cut because they are some that are more on like maybe a four month schedule, just like a, they're just shakedowns, like seven all shake shakedowns. So I do go ahead and knock off the extra hair with them because sometimes it's matted. And two, there's no reason to uh, wash all that. So, um, I'm just going to be over here. I time it on my watch. I use my watch all day long for timing shampoos and stuff. Uh, so I want to use this for about five minutes. So I'll just sit here with the bathing system going over her again and again for about five minutes. Um, then we'll rinse really thoroughly. And then I'm going to just go ahead and use the dog cleaner conditioner as well. Um, but that's really it. Like I said, they all go straight to the tub. And then we'll get them out, do their haircut. I'll try to show you guys a little bit of a haircut too, maybe a little tip or trick or whatever. Uh, so yeah, everything's straight in the tub, this haircut, and then they're done. Have I ever mentioned how much I hate the dogs that shake all over my damn van? You can clean this up? My assistant just cleaned this van. I got it on the walls, honey. My God. Like, I kind of get it, but I kind of don't. You know, like, this is, this is insanity. This looks like I just did a giant D-shed, and I did it. I did a tiny poodle. Yeah, you're, you're awful. Look at my table. Everything. And I've tried to stop her. She's like, absolutely fucking not. I will absolutely soak your man. You're an asshole. All right, pro tip. Um, while you clean up the giant mess that the dog just created, um, put them in the, or on the, um, Thing, like a kennel dryer they'll typically just kind of sit in the corner while you uh get your life together so if you ever get a little jerk that wants to make a big mess then uh, look at that mean look too excuse me uh but yeah just uh, leave them in the kennel dryer while well it's not a kennel dryer but you know leave them to just dry like this until you have a chance to actually start drying them that's what i do anyway all right, so we are working on Miss Ginger's haircut. Um, something to keep in mind with a little dog like this. They have little noodle legs, and their little noodle legs are very fragile. And this girl will absolutely let me know if I go in too rough. <laughs> so um, even when I'm using my big clipper, I just go in nice and easy. Even when going down her little legs, too gentle. I really try not to push into them. And you just But I'm telling you, some of these little guys, first of all, you can hurt them so easy with those like little bitty legs, you know. So you go in too rough with your clipper and accidentally bump them with it, it, it really hurt these little teeny bodies. So slow down a little bit when you're working on a little noodle bone like this. Because, uh, yeah, like I said, and she will let me know it. Um, she's never full on bit me, but she snapped at me a few times. So I'm like, oh, okay. Heard you loud and clear. Thank you. All right, and here she is finished. I'm going to rush her back in and grab her sister because i got to have them done by 12. Their dad's got to leave. So here's Ginger. All right, here's our next little girl. She's like, I don't know what she is. <laughs> she's like a little dachshund, Yorkie schnauzer thing. I don't know. She's so cute. Her name's Dolly. All right, I'm going to get her done real, real fast. All right, and she's all done. She took me about 45 minutes. Quick bath, uh, three eights all over, and cute face. All right, say bye. All right, I'm done at my first stop. Uh, they, they were a two-dog stop. I have three stops today, five dogs total. So next stop is just one dog. It's actually friend slash former co-workers dog he looks like stevie's little twin so you guys will see that um but typically if i have a gap between appointments i'm gonna run to the bathroom uh right now i'm getting gas and then i am going to i'm gonna run up to the town hall and pay my water bill and then i'm gonna run by my house let my dogs out to go to the bathroom use the bathroom myself and then i will be off to kirby's house um, so this is like pretty much how it goes on a day to day. It, it'll be random errands that I have to do throughout the day. Um, but that's usually kind of how I plan it is like, okay, like, oh, I need to pay my water bill today. Like I'm going to do that. Like while I'm out and about rather than trying to rush to get done with work, um, so that I can get there on time because town hall closes at five. 
Um, so I think that lady just did a quick run through so that she could get a look at my van because she literally like went in the parking lot this way and then went back out that way and kept going the same way. So pretty sure she's checking me out. Don't check me out, lady. I'm not even taking new clients. Okay. Um, so yeah, we're just getting gas and then we'll be on the road. All right. So we are off to Cousin Kirby's. I just decided to put my jacket down as like a little bed for him today because, um, his is needing to be washed right now, so. I, uh, yeah, what else? I don't know, I'm brain dead. I got everything done though. Went to the bathroom, let my dogs out, paid my water bill, got gas. So, now we're going to Kirby's. All right, we got the crew. There's Kirby and Stevie. You see, they're like little twins. Kirby just has some tan to him. Um, Kirby doesn't really hang out with other dogs, so he's always like super awkward, but. My two are always pretty chill, so uh, if I if I know the dog, the client, then I'll put them down with my dogs, but uh, yeah, I don't do that for every dog, so um, actually I don't do it for most. It's usually just my friend's dogs. But he can be, oh, he said, I don't want to do this, and Janine. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so we're going to get set up, but I just had to show the twins. All right. I am here with Cousin Kirby's butt. I already did one side, but I just want to show you a quick little cheat for doing like quick booty. So all I did was I just took my oak comb on my creative vet and just skimmed. Like I don't press in super hard. I'm just kind of getting a little bit of the extra, okay? And like it's not gonna be perfect at all, right? I just like to like, that gives me like a guide to make sure everything's equal. Make sure when you hold their tail that it's the way it naturally falls. He kind of like holds his up over his back. So that's kind of the way I'm holding it. I'm just gonna trim this stuff in the middle. Like I said, I already did the other side, but I am hopefully not blocking you. Try to get it under there. There you go. And I'm just taking my gem fluffers and just literally blending into that line. to keep his legs um, as equal as possible. Like if he's standing with that one farther forward, it could give me the illusion that I need to go shorter on this one. So I try to keep his legs like at the same length back so I don't accidentally get too short. I'm just going to keep trimming and scissoring in. But I found on Stevie, who is like his twin, that this is the best way for me to get that like really cottony fine hair that they get, you know, that like floof that like is so unforgiving and if you try to just take a straight cheer to it, it like you can see every single line. Um, I've just found that this cuts it a lot more evenly uh, and looks nicer longer. Like when I was hand scissoring everything on Stevie, um, I would notice that a couple hours after her groom, she'd look a little chunked up. Like when everything's settled, you could still see some harsh lines and that's definitely not what we want. We want that haircut to really last and everybody feel like they got their money's worth. So, the trick is just keep trimming. Make sure you get all those hairs and comb and all that. See a little bit over there. And that looks good. Super easy. All right, and here's Kirby afterwards. Oh, he's gonna stay in the same direction. I was gonna show you his butt, but he said that's rude. So don't look at his butt, Never mind. All right, just finished up at Kirby's house and then I blabbed through my entire break. So now I'm straight off to the next slash last stop of the day. Uh, and yeah, I'm really excited. Today's been so like chill and easy, like, I feel like sometimes it probably comes across hectic, but this is an easy day for me. For a while there, I was doing like seven dogs a day in the van, and I would start at like, leave my house at like 8.30 in the morning, and I wasn't getting home until like eight at night some nights, and I didn't realize like how much it burnt me out. And now I know that I really need more time off than that. Actually, this uh, next weekend, uh, Sunday through, uh, 
next Wednesday. I'm actually gonna take like a little break. Um, typically I would have three, like I would have Sunday, Monday, and Wednesday off, but I just decided to take Tuesday off as well. Me and my assistant were scheduled to work and I was like, how about we go out to lunch and go thrifting instead of working? And she was like, I'm down. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go out, go to some thrift shops. There's like this statue place that me and her are like so intrigued by that we just like have to see. So we're gonna go to the statue place and we are just gonna chill instead of killing ourselves another day. Um, so yeah, if you are somebody that likes to over schedule yourself and run yourself into the absolute ground here's your sign to take a day or two off and you will be able to just be recharged and you'll feel so much better all right so i just wanted to show you guys the what i meant like when i said that you know some of them i do pre-cut so you can see she's pretty long they want her trimmed up pretty well like i said i think we've been doing about four three four months in between so I am thinking a half inch on her, um, but we're going to do the outcome first because I always, always recommend to go one length longer than you think you need to go to um, just to um, make sure you don't accidentally go too short. Now I'm noticing, let's see if this picks up on camera, it's going to be right where that bar is. Can you guys see, there's like a chunk that, like I don't know if she had a mat or something, but I see a short spot right here. So I'm gonna try to match that. Pretty long, you can see. And this pre-shave does not need to be perfect. Oh yeah, actually I like this oak home. Then I'm gonna use the half inch in select areas. Oh yeah. So this is, I would call this about half off. Like if you had an owner that said I want like about half off. It's actually technically more than half off, but that's how it feels to me. It's like not so extreme. And again, this does not need to be perfect because you are going to have to go over this again. So don't even, don't worry about making it perfect. As long as you get a lot of this extra hair off, it's going to make it so much faster in the bathtub.
like the recipes. I like watching it. I don't know if I'd make anything that he has shown on his channel. Some of it's very strange, and that's why it makes it to show like some of the weird recipes from that time period, you know? Okay. Just feeling in these armpits just to make sure there's nothing I missed. Skin that. Just check her. See a little bit more on her chest that I'd like to get a little shorter. Make our life a little bit easier. Your face actually looks like the carrots have been cutting it. <laughs> so uh, not gonna be as much to trim on the face, but that's okay. Listen, I don't I really don't get upset when somebody chops into my haircuts. I try to do the haircuts in a way that they don't feel like they need to, but sometimes they just do it. We know, you know how it is with those customers. They're not hurting anything. It's not that big of a deal, but she's ready to go in the tub. That easy. Five minutes. All right, so here's baby's after. Just did like an oak comb on the body, hand scissored in the legs. She's got a little owl tie on, super cute. I'm waiting for my St. Patrick's Day stuff to get here. I just ordered yesterday. Look, a oh, yucky vase. All right, so next is this bundle of hair. I'm just gonna go through the seven all over. Easy peasy. Got the Andis Ultra Ridge blade. Just be careful if you've got, because he is matted, so if he had moles or whatever, you'd want to be aware, but I know he doesn't, because I've groomed him before. Um, and again, I have some people that get him groomed like this. I charge a lot for grooming, so I do have the people that just get this straight up shaved down every like four months or so. I'm cool with that. I mean, I wouldn't be cool if his mom was like, brush this out. I'd be like, girl, you're tripping. But, you know, if they're cool with me just shaving it every couple of months or so, like, I'm cool with doing it. I really am. It's no big deal. Just checking in his ears a little bit while I go ahead and pull it up like this. That stuff behind his ears is going to need to be taken off with the 10. Just watch your blades when you're doing a 7 all over shave. Because these blades heat up fast. I am not worried about any of this stuff on his face. It all needs to be short. Gotta go. Again, please be mindful. I'm moving quick because I know he doesn't have skin tags or anything like that. But if he did, I would not be moving this fast. Okay, that's gonna all need to come off of the 10. That's pretty tight. Okay. Let's go around so you can see what I'm doing. I just cleared out all around the head. I'm just gonna clear off the body. We just, the what we're aiming for is just to get this long matted hair off because we don't want to bathe all that. You see? See how much I'm taking off? Could you imagine trying to shampoo all that? And I'm going to, she said he's been itchy, so I do think I'm going to use the dogliness on him. So I'm not wasting my expensive product on all this hair that's going to be shaved off anyway. So let's get him all shaved, buddy. Speaking of dogliness, today I'm finishing up, either today or tomorrow I'll finish up my part two for their review, which I am so over this subject. I do not want to talk about dogliness anymore after this. Like, I was planning on buying the Immortel, but to be honest with you, I'm not going to for quite some time just because I'm so tired of talking about dogliness. And if I'm tired of talking about it, then I know you guys are tired of hearing about it. So I am moving on after this I got um, one of you guys commented about hyponic and then I had a couple other people reach out to me on Instagram about it so that's one that I am planning on doing and they've actually got free samples that you can get like anybody not just me uh, so I will be looking into that soon um, but I've got some product of the weeks planned and like I said none of them are gonna be like this dogliness one it just got really weird really fast company got involved, <laughs> got very wild, so, yeah. um, it's hard, you guys, like, to do these reviews sometimes, and there's a reason that I'm, like, one of the only people that do reviews the way I do, because, frankly, when you're honest, um, his name's Frankie, did you see how he looked at me when I said that, um, but when you're honest, you hurt feelings, and it gets you kicked off of, like, PR teams and ambassadorships and whatever. Um, people are not, they don't want you to go off giving honest reviews. That's not what they're paying for you. They're paying you to promote their products. So if you're an ambassador, a lot of times that's how it works. Like, 
you're in a contract, you have to say it's good, da da da. And uh, I'm not, I'm not affiliated with anyone. Shane Dawson just uploaded a video. <laughs> you guys probably seen by now. Uh, but I'm not an ambassador. I buy this stuff with my own money. And if I don't, I tell you up front that, hey, this was sent to me. Usually by Hydra or Gem. I don't really get stuff from anyone else. Uh, but because I'm more like, oh yeah, like, this is how I really feel, like, honest answer, not just like trying to get on the brand's good side, it's uh, created some controversy, for sure. I know not everybody's thrilled that I don't just give all happy, positive reviews all the time, but it's not really why I decided that I wanted to do reviews in the first place. I wanted to be able to give, like, honest reviews. I used to watch a ton of makeup tutorials. Many of you know I was in the human care world first, uh, and then ended up coming over to cosmetology, or sorry, to dog grooming. Um, and basically, uh, I wanted to do my reviews like you would see on a makeup guru, like how they do it. Like, you know, Jeffree Star approves and da da da. And like, if it's not good, they're like, oh, look at this, this is crap, look at it. You know what I mean? And uh, I realized very quickly that's really hard to do in this industry because the brands see it and then they want to get involved and then they get their feelings hurt and whatever. And I just like wanted to make it very clear right now that I'm not trying to do these reviews to hurt somebody's feelings. I'm not doing it to attack the company. Um, in fact, any brands that I have personal vendettas with, I don't touch their stuff. So if you've seen me talk about something, that's because I'm okay with the brand or maybe I don't know them or whatever. If I've got a true issue with the brand, you're not going to see me using it. Do you see me using loyalty pets? I should have said that. <laughs> but I'm just saying, I used to, and then I got more familiar with the brand, and I'm like, mm, no, not, not my cup of tea. So, yeah, if anything, I'm not going to review a company if I just know it's like something I'm not going to like. Um, another example would be like Advent. I'm not a fan of Advent, but some people love it. But I know I don't like it. So I'm like, yeah, I can make a video and be like, oh, I don't like it, but it's the worst. But I already know that. Like a lot of times, when I'm going into a review first impression, I'm hoping I like it. That's why I spent the money. If I thought I was just gonna flat out hate it, I wouldn't even spend the money on it. So anyway, it's just tough because like, I think especially, not think, I know especially with dogliness, I know I definitely seem to really upset the creators the creator when she saw my video. I'm going to talk more about it there, but she's definitely upset. I'm not saying that she didn't have the right to be. Totally have the right to be upset. Um, but it's just difficult because then it was like, because she's upset, she wants to clear the air and give more details. And it's kind of like running into like, like she's like, here, share this with your audience. And I'm like, yeah, but I don't really take a script, you know, it's hard. Um, because I just do things so different. I'm not paid by dogliness or by anybody for that matter. Um, so for me, it's not really, I don't know. I just, I'm not here to read your script. If you want to say certain things to certain people, then go ahead and start a YouTube channel. And like some of these people, like I think if they like started a YouTube channel and got into it, they'd probably be having way more people follow them than me anyway. So it's like, y'all, if you're worried about my reviews or whatever, just make a channel and make your own damn reviews. Make your own damn channel. Like if you want people to know this about your product with dogliness, for example, make a fucking YouTube or make videos somewhere and tell people. Like it's not my responsibility to get the information about your brand out for you. So love like I think people affiliated with dogliness are so sweet but I feel like they're gonna have to it could be really hard for them if they don't learn to like kind of separate like you know I'm not trying to like personally attack you I'm just talking about the product and being honest with people that watch me you know whatever um, but I'm not here to promote your stuff for free I, I don't take a script you know, and some people are just not gonna like your shit. Some people absolutely hate me. Oh, like, probably more than some. A lot of people absolutely hate me. And, uh, I think I'm gonna take this stuff a little shorter because he's got anal gland issues and he really chews up this back end. So I've got a 10 on right now. I'm just gonna go in real, real close with all this. You can see how mad it is. 
kind of giving him like a poodle tail back here just because all this he's got a <laughs> he's got a butt fold right there it's matting his hair sorry buddy i know sorry he's gotta get in between legs yucky um but yeah it, it's hard and i, I you know I, I can understand. I've had clients that have left me or not liked my grooming or whatever. And, you know, it sucks. So you take this stuff really personally. When you work really hard on something and somebody doesn't like it, it totally sucks. I totally get why their feelings are hurt. But at the same time, again, I'm not trying to hurt your feelings. Like, you know, just take it for, for what it is. Like, just remember at the end of the day when I'm making reviews, I am trying to talk to groomers that don't have tons of money to blow that want to know whether it's some of these more expensive items are worth the splurge. So I'm not doing it being like, ha ha, this will really piss off dogliness. <laughs> I'm not even thinking about the brand at all when I'm recording. Like I'm literally just considering like, okay, groomer, you know, that's making average, I don't know, maybe low grooming fees. Like they're not making a ton of money in grooming. They don't have 200 bucks to blow on a couple bottles of shampoo, and I don't care what way you swing it, it's not going to last the same as an $80 gallon. Like, I get that they're trying to argue, like, oh, it, it can last longer than, like, a competing 16-ounce bottle, which I can see, but price-wise, like, if somebody, if a shop was used to only using Tropiclean, which is, like, $20 to $30 a gallon, and let's say they had multiple groomers, about $80, you know, make 50 to 80 dogs leave their shop a day they could not use something like dogliness and make a profit unless they were charging absurd numbers because you would just be blowing through product so i still stand by that i understand that you know they i get it like maybe if i used it this way that way you know held my eyes closed and did a backflip then maybe it would last longer but i'm just telling you like based off of like using it or whatever that I don't think it's gonna be lasting as long as your gallons like yeah it may last a little bit longer than other shampoos and that's that's what she said that she compared it to other shampoos um, and how long they last and that lasts longer I'm like yes for the same amount of product but like like I said once we start getting up into like gallons versus this stuff it's just, it's a very high price point and it's not realistic for every shop. I'm going to say it 20 times over, no matter how, how much you, how would you try to swing it? Like, oh no, Ashley, you don't know this. You don't know that. I don't think it's worth use in high volume salons. So anyway, this is a long way, winded way of me saying that. It, like, I fucking am so tired of talking about dogliness. Surely you guys have to be tired of hearing about dogliness at this point because I feel like I've more than beat it into the ground. Like. I wanted to do one 15 minute review on this product. I've already done a 50 minute video and now I'm doing a follow up just because their products are so confusing that I feel like without the follow up that you won't even like fully understand the product. So that's the only reason I'm doing it is because I think it needs the extra explanation because it's not just a simple straightforward product and if you try to use it like a simple straightforward product then you're going to get terrible results. So, uh, yeah, that's how I feel about it. Um, like I said, I hope that tonight is the last time that I have to talk about dogliness. I knew I was in trouble the other day. I posted my video and I, <laughs> I saw uh, on the dogliness group that the creator quoted quoted me on my video. Uh, I like that. It so, sounds like a quote to me. And then like a couple hours later or the next day or something, I ended up getting that message from her uh, being like, hey, this is like what you could add to your video. Like, oh. So it definitely was about me because she would said a direct quote about like the magic in a bottle, which ironically I was quoting somebody else and she quoted me. So I'm actually, she's actually quoting one of her ambassadors with the magic in a bottle thing because my thing was that a lot of their ambassadors were like, this is magic. And then they weren't like saying like, actually it's just organic, but it works well. It's an organic product that they think works well. Um, so yeah, I, I saw that and I thought, huh, sounds like it's directed at me. Cause they also just added me to the group. So I kind of, kind of 
put two. I'm not. I'm not quite as dumb as people think I am. So I was like, uh, pretty sure this is about me. And then, like I said, I got that message right after, which confirmed it. So. I definitely, definitely ruffled a lot of feathers with this review, so I hope you guys enjoyed it because I got a lot of backlash over it. <laughs> I think I'm going to post some of the messages and whatever that I got about it because I just want to like really show like the extent I went to for this review, but we'll see. I'm going to record it when I get off today. So. Alright, so I've got him bath ready. So, 14 minutes, bath ready. All right, here's the last one finished. Short body, short face. Very cute. All right, back where we started. Ready? Where's my handle? <laughs> All right, so now we need our jacket back because it's fucking cold. Freaking cold. <laughs> I like try. I don't know why I try not to cuss for you guys. <laughs> I like the only time I don't cuss or try not to cuss is on YouTube and you can see how terribly that goes for me most of the time. Um, that's because I cuss. I've got the mouth of a sailor and I don't really see a huge issue with it. So um, that's something I high on my list of things. I'm like, oh, gotta stop cussing. So important. Like, I'm not around children. I don't have kids. I don't give a shit. <laughs> anyway, um, so let's step into the back and we're going to strip our tub down for the day so I just like to take everything down I pull the bathing system out of this like little bottom part of the tub you don't know what I'm talking about oh you're way up in the air hello um but basically you can check it out and get these websites if you're interested about the tub sometimes I get questions about how big my tub is y'all I have no idea it is however big the standard tub is in the van. I didn't upgrade on size. This is just what it comes with. So if you want to know, go look at Hamby's website. His little tub here. And I mean, I can look it up for you, but you can look it up too. You know? Sometimes I get people that do that. They'll send me stuff and I'm like, girl, I don't know. And then it's like they want me to look it up. I'm like, babe, you look it up. You look it up. You got Google, right? You know how to go to Hamby's website. <laughs> So, um, anyway, like I said, I get all the hair off the wall. Let me just shut that up for a second so you can hear what I'm saying. Okay, so we're just going to get all the hair off the wall. I like to use the stronger spraying setting because if there's anything that got taped on like early today, this will kind of blast it off. Kind of clean this thing off. My assistant just did all this yesterday, so... It all looks really good. Um, I do like a quick clean during the week. And then on Mondays every week, she comes and does like a full top to bottom uh, deep clean. So basically her cleaning makes it very easy for me throughout the week. So like I said, clean off the shower. Now I am also going to turn my heater back on so that I can have some work back here while I finish up cleaning. So this takes me a few minutes. Okay. Just make sure you get all the hair out of the drain. And then some people will run vinegar through their machine every night. I don't do it every night, um, but I do like to take the higher pressurized setting and I just kind of blast it up into the bathing system just to break up any yuckiness that could be in there, okay? So we're gonna drain all that water. Um, especially during the winter, I try to get as much water out of here as possible because anything left in here will freeze, um, especially when we get freezing temperatures. So, um, okay, that's really it for the tub. I. She does the spray down like once a week and if it needs it in between, then I will do that, like clean it with like the Windex and all that. But typically it doesn't need all that. So we're going to go out. I'm gonna put these two hoodlums in the gate over here. Goodbye. Off into the darkness. All right. And then I come over here and I grab my hose. This is like the most the quickest way I've found to get this all done. So I have to spend the least amount of time out in the cold. So do this. 
I'm going to hook up, I'll show you once I get it put together. I'm gonna put my hose on the clean tank. See, just like that, this is my hose, connected it to the blue hose in the van. See, connected. And then down here, that lever we were talking about earlier, we're going to undo it, which will make our water start to flow. Okay, now that that, was, that is done, I still have my keys in there somewhere. Um, so now I always go around into the gate, turn my hose on, and then I go inside and let Max and Lena out. So I'm going to go let them out and we'll be back. All right, so hose is on, so my water is filling because usually it takes longer to fill my water tank than it does for me to clean my van. So definitely recommend I work four days a week in the van. Becca comes once a week and does a deep clean on it, and that just keeps everything really nice and clean. It's smelling good in here makes less work for me during the week so highly recommend having somebody clean your van for you if you can okay, so now we're gonna grab our towels you can see they're overflowing today so we'll get these down and we're going to um, go ahead and bring them inside throw them in the washer so they can get started washing while the water's filling all right so laundry is washing weird okay let me tell you guys that's just in case I get abducted and killed just now um I let my guys out and I have two uh doors to my fence one is where you just saw the other side is on the very back of the gate because that's the easiest place to get like a riding lawnmower in and I have a guy that does my grass for me well I saw Max and Lena back by the gate I like walked in the backyard I only saw Stevie and Hammer so Max and Lena back by the gate and uh, I said, Max and Lena, what are you doing over there? You know, being mom mode. And uh, I heard a fucking voice say something back. I'm like, uh, I'm just saying, I'd hate to take somebody's eye out, but I will. I will totally take your eye out with these nails, so don't you come up trying to attack me now. But why would they be behind my fence? Like, there's not, there's houses back there, but not close enough. Like, if they're touching the gate, then they are on my property because I own the property behind my gate too. So I'm like, there's somebody in my backyard. The look. Okay. So this is like the most painful part is letting that fill up. So, um, I typically walk to the end of my driveway and get my mail, which is what I'm about to do. Also the vacuum doesn't have to be cleaned out every day. I do it like twice a week and that's plenty. Um, but it also depends on how many dogs are doing in a day. So being a, an adult with a mailbox is just no fun. All you get is people want money. All, that's what this is, it's a business license. They're like, better renew your business license if you want to grow in our town. Mm. I know, I know, I will. <laughs> Trust me, but <sighs> money. Everybody just wants damn money. <laughs> tax season, oh, you guys see W-2s. Oh, you just love tax season, huh? So fun, get money back, fun, fun, love that for you. I have to pay a bunch of money for tax season. So tax season is something I dread every year. And tax season is right now. And they want money. And my accountants gonna want money. The government's gonna want my money. I'm like, damn y'all, I want my money. That's why I'm working for it. Um, anyway, so <laughs> the turn off is the exact same as the turn on. Sounded kind of funny. Um, I don't know why I phrased it that way. But again, you're gonna hit this inverter button. Make sure that green light goes off. I messed up one night and that green light was still on. I accidentally left my inverter on all night while I, my van was charging. And it didn't do anything, but besides like scare me, I was like, I just ruined my van. It's, it's done, just ruined it. Um, so yeah, we're gonna do this and then we'll fill the water tank. I oh, know, we'll come back, we'll come back. I was like, do I end it here? Okay, so I'm gonna finish filling the water tank and I'll be back. All right, so the water is done, I'll show you. See, I just gotta reconnect that hose. We'll do it in a second. So, we gotta plug into the shoreline. Not the dedicated, that's a whole different thing we can talk about later. Um, but you'll know you're plugging in the right one because it says fill water purse next to it. So, and you just plug her in, right? And then you come over here and you can see this turned on and that is going to keep my water warm. And then you just hang this back up here and you're done. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog slash day in the life kind of video. It's kind of fun to make, kind of time consuming, but kind of fun. So if you guys like it, let me know. And maybe we can do more ride-alongs with me because I get very bored. 
So, I know, I'm saying, lady. You gave the uh, woo. Thank you so much. That is the woo lady speaking to you right now. She's very flattered, right? She don't woo for just anybody. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, we're very excited over here. We're done for the day. Yay! All right, I love you guys. I'll see you later. Bye.